Hi guys, uh, welcome to this episode of Southbound Fishing. Today we're going to be going over the new baits. Um, as you saw in the the first little part of the video, the first uh, speed clips, speed photos. Um, we're going to be re releasing a total of four new baits. Um, awesome, you know, they're awesome baits. I'm really pumped about them. So, here we go. First one we're going to start out with is the new Cobra Worm. I didn't. I wanted to release something finesse, but I didn't want to release another, just another, you know, six-inch finesse worm. I didn't want to release another four and a half-inch finesse worm. I wanted something different. Uh, so I chose. Th I like this. I really like this. Uh, as you can see, it, it kind of the reason the name the name comes from a cobra. As you can see, it looks like it has the um, the hood of a cobra on that on that worm. It's kind of like almost wings, as you can see. You know, from a side profile, you can't see them, but from right there, you can. Looking up from above, you can see those. You can see them. It's five and a half inches long. It's not. It's not a thick worm. You know, it's a. It's a thinner style worm. It's a finesse worm. Is what it is. Um, it's awesome for a lot of stuff. I'll show you right now. I got a drop shot hook, a standout hook right here. Um, it's just you know drop shot stuff. Right through the nose. measure out where you're gonna want that hook to come out punch it right out of there thread it on in you know situate it right on the worm and there you go there's a little finesse you know a drop shot rig that's the open hook you can also of course some people on one ear do it like this they run it through the back of the worm and just and don't even have that hook point exposed so it doesn't get hung up it, it might get caught on brush but it you know you can shake it out of there it, the hook points not in the brush or rock or or whatever you're fishing so that's another way you can rig this also you know you got the standard extra wide gap hook this is a 2 aught white wire you know I wouldn't go in, I wouldn't go above a 2 to 3 aught a 3 aught fits it fine a 2 aught fits it fine a 1 aught's a little bit on the small side um, for for Texas rigging but I really like a two out light wire. And what you can do with this is just everyone knows the Texas rig, right? And that's all you do. It's just Texas rig it. It's your standard worm, you know, fishing on a small bullet weight, fish it weightless. I'll get into something you know, really unique about this worm in just a second. But that's how you rig it, you know, just Texas rigged. Easy. What I really like these things are not useless it's not just for show it's not just for looks it really does provide action on the bait and as you can see I pull them they're all connected as you can see but there, there's slits in them it's it's not like I'm gonna see if I can get that to focus but as you can see the ends of them are connected but there's slits in between and if you do this this is a really cool deal I love um, take it backwards rig it backwards Texas style it's kind of weird you gotta you know get the hang of it but if you rig it backwards I'm trying to get this thing set up I might have to take it off camera I'm at a weird angle with my hands right now give me a sec there we go and you just put it through the worm and I'll show you in just one second You know, just like that. And if you if you can do it, you some you can throw it normal and it'll glide down. It will honestly glide. In, you say you're fishing dock, skip this thing right up to a dock. It will glide in because the, if especially if you have it rigged with a hook like this, and the most of the weight of the hook is on the back because there's just more metal right there, and there's more weight of the worm and everything. And the wings, I call them wings. They'll just glide. They'll glide this worm in there. It's something totally different. I haven't seen a worm like it on the market. And um, and also, if you really want to amplify that, you can put a small nail weight, like half a nail weight, not not anything big, because that'll just make it sink nose down. But if you put a small nail weight, like right in here, or even it right in the head, if you rig it, you know, a little bit farther, you just adjust adjust the rigging method to how big you want that nail weight to be, and it will glide perfectly down. It's amazing. It's amazing to see. Um, you know, and it really produces fish. I mean, it's an action they haven't seen. It's something that, they, you know, it's just new and it's a new presentation. And it's a new way to do it. Also, another thing you could do, it's a very versatile worm. If you take it 
Let me unrig this real quick. If you take it and just kind of pull it, it's strong, pl I use strong plastic, but if you just pull it and pop them loose, you can kind of run your fingers along these and just break that little, break that seam that these things are held together by. Just kind of make sure they're all broken, just kind of, you know, pop them loose so that they're kind of, there's a couple, you got to check it out and make sure they're all unbroken, but once they are, every little thing is is on its own right and it vibrates every little thing every little uh appendage right there vibrates just like a wacky rig on the way down it's truly something incredible to see in the water you can wacky rig this thing and do it or you can just uh fish it weightless weightless is my favorite way when you break these and you throw it weightless it's awesome especially on a drop shot um, that's another way you can fish it without weight but weightless is really cool just a weight just a normal two out hook but on the drop shot, they also flutter down. It's just really something you've got to see in person in the water to really appreciate it. It's, all, it's an awesome worm. So there's the arrow worm, five and a half inches. Comes eight to a pack. And we're going to move on to the next worm, right? The next bait right now. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, on to the next bait. This is uh, something I've been working on for a while. I've always, I've, you know, I've been searching for a fluke mold that's different. A lot of people sell the same kind of fluke, and uh, I wanted something different, but I wanted something as close to the jerk minnow, my original jerk minnow, as possible. And uh, I've come up with something. It's uh, the jerk minnow. I mean, I'm not going to change the name. It's, it's the jerk minnow, but it's an injection format. And as you can see, it is just perfect i you know you cannot go wrong with this thing everything that i would want in a fluke is there a deep hook slot as you can see you know deep deep enough to easily rig anything a, a nice fat head so you can rig it with a screw lock or an extra wide gap the tail is cool because what i really like about the tail is as you can see it comes it, it almost has a joint it's not really a joint but it it you know it tapers and then it comes back up at that little part and and that just gives it tons of action, you know, as you can see right there, it's hanging down freely. It has a ton of action right there, even even sideways it hangs. It's just cool. The tail has a totally different action than a lot of flukes. And also, it has kind of, you know, it almost balances it out. It has that horizontal, uh, that little flat patch right there, and it gives balance to the fluke. It's very cool. Also, another thing you can do if you really want it to be extremely erratic as you take a pair of scissors trying to get the flute situated here I'll do this off camera really quickly because well, again I, I'm at a weird angle and you just cut right up the middle this is if you really really want your fluke to be you know crazy erratic if you cut if you cut a slit right down the middle you just have two longer tails if you were, if you want to, you can trim it up a little bit. But I normally just, I normally fish it normal. But if you really want something different, you can, you can trim it and it makes a bigger tail. Awesome bait, guys. Easily rigged up on a fish head spin. Easily rigged up, weightless. That's my, you know, almost everyone fishes a fluke weightless. So, I'll do that for you right now. Fits a three aught to a four aught to a five aught hook easily. Dead center through the nose. Eye of the hook in there. Find out where that hook's gonna go. Bend it back. Seat your hook, and then of course always skin hook it. And there you go. You know, a perfect fluke. It darts. It dives. It's it's uh, it's just a great fluke. I, I was amazed when I saw the action of it. I love it. I love it already. And it's you know these it's getting to be warmer months. Flukes work all year round. You know you can fish them on a drop shot. You can fish them weightless you can some people fish them with i can fish them with a small 16 ounce bullet weight it's a lot of fun doing that uh, you'll still catch fish and year round they just work that's simple as that a fluke is one of the old standards of bait and now you can uh you can get them in all my custom colors my formulas and uh you know purchase them from your favorite hand for company so um, the new jerk minnow guys
Check them out today. All the links will be in the description. They're all up on the website already. You can order them right now. I have no waiting list as of right now. I'm fully caught up, so the second your order comes in, it will be the next one to pour. If your order is the first one, it will be right there. You know, so new jerk minnow available in all custom colors. I can't do three colors right now. I don't have a twin injector, but once I get the twin injector, I'll be able to do a, a three color pour. But what I can do is I can do a throat color. If you want to do a bluegill, that'll that'll be coming soon. I'm going to release a bait, um, a gill like my I have a I have a gill in the uh, in the rad shad bait. I call it the gill, just like I have the cannibal. It's going to be a gill, and also I'm going to going to have a cannibal uh, line in this in this fluke as well. But that'll be coming in a little bit. But if you want an orange throat patch, just let me know in the custom additives box. I can do that. I can do separate tails, like a chartreuse tail and a pearl body. I can do a red head and a pearl body. Um, I can do a lot of stuff. I can do, but what I mainly do is I hand pour the back and then shoot the rest. So that allows me to do. Let me get a couple out of my my stash. That's a dual color right there. It's hard to see. I can probably grab a better looking dual color. Here we go. There's an example of the throat patch. Just a, uh, an orange throat patch. A little dual color I poured up. Kind of like a summer gill. And then also another dual color. So that's that. The new jerk minnow guys, check them out. Thanks for watching. On to the next bait. Okay guys, on to my, probably my favorite bait out of this release, uh, the new Swamp Serpent. I love this thing. I can't, I can't say it any different way. I mean, this lizard is incredible. It's something, it's, a, it's one of the most innovative lizards I think I've seen. Uh, there's, I don't think there's anything like it on the market. It's not your normal six inch zoom lizard with three curls and another curl. It's totally something different. It's, I mean, it's seven and a half inches. It's a big bait, but most of it's the tail. People hear a seven and a half inch lizard, they say, "Gosh, that's a big old lizard." But most of it is in the tail. As you can see, if you, you know, if you ball the tail up, and just look at the body, it's really not all that big of a bait. So the rigging is not. You're not going to need a nine or ten knot hook or anything. But the tail is what is what makes this bait. Of course, four curls on it look great in the water. You know. Uh, very fluid, very, you know, they react to a slightest little twitch, they react to it, so it's awesome. Deep ribs, if you can see that, I'm trying to get this thing to focus. I don't know if the camera will focus for me. Um, really deep ribs on this bait, very detailed head with two small appendages, um, ribs on the head, you know, eyes, big body ribs, and then the tail is what makes it. As you can see in the pictures, the pictures really are the things that do it justice. The video is cool, but the pictures are what really shows the formation of the tail. Pick the camera up for just one second and show you. That's how the tail looks in the mold. That's how it's molded. So every time this lizard stops, that tail is going, because it's molded that way, it's the plastic's formed that way, that it will automatically go back to that formation so it'll curl up retract recoil uncurl you know the whole nine yards every time you twitch it every every inch that you move that rod it does that every single time and that's what makes this bait uh, if you're dragging it through the water it I'm not gonna lie to you here you know I I'm, be, I'm honest with my baits it doesn't have the same action as a zoom wizard it does not just thump and paddle this wizard is mainly meant to be worked a little bit slower you know you're not supposed to just it's not a burning lizard you don't throw it and just burn it along the top or anything like that it's really you know if you throw it weightless you could twitch it right on the top right on top of the water get that tail to move if you throw it with a weight working on the bottom carolina rig works every pretty much everything works like this 
but that tail I'm gonna tell you right now that tail is not gonna just curl straight up it's not just gonna you know paddle like a normal curl tail it's different but that's the cool thing it's different that's what's good about this bait is it's innovative it's different and that's what I really love about it uh, for rigging I like a 5 out hook just because of the size of it you know it's a big bait period it is a big bait it's not small by any means there's a couple ways you can rig it you can rig it right side up just like that there's a big flat spot as you can see the bottom of that is flat so you can either rig it like this with the bottom down so it you know if the if the the belly of the lizard's down which is which is the way it lies you know in the mold and everything then you can rig it just like that it will it will rise up to the top it has a kind of a strange little strange little action totally different totally irresistible the bass it will kind of rise and fall and twitch sideways it moves around in the water column a lot it's not really a stationary lizard at all so or you can rig it the other way around just flip it upside down rig it right there through the head and have it so it's it looks upside down it's not I mean upside down seems like a bad term because a lot of people will be turned off by that saying thinking the wizards rigged wrong but kind of has that bass boat look to it right there it helps it ride a little bit straighter if you're Carolina rigging I suggest this if you're weightless twitching I suggest the other way but mainly on a, on a straight retrieve if you're trying to just drag this thing and not really stop and twitch it which is what it's really kind of made for is to stop and twitch it but if you if you want to just straight drag it I suggest upside down so that the head faces the bottom. I mean, it still looks just like a lizard, you know? It's not like it looks any different. It still looks like a lizard. But you can rig it either way. That's the, the fact of the matter. One tip I've had, I've been fishing this bait for, for a couple weeks now. One tip that I've, I've found is if you feel a bite and if, it, if it's not really totally swimming off with it, just give it a second. Just give the bit, give the fish a second, because sometimes if this thing's twitching along, they'll they'll take the whole tail in the mouth. That feels like you know that's a pretty good amount of plastic for them to get. But then if you if you twitch it just a tiny bit, I'm talking a tiny twitch right when you get that bite, it'll feel like the lizard's trying to escape from their mouth, and they'll just totally engulf it. Of course, any fish over three pounds is probably going to engulf the bait fully, and any fish over five or six pounds is you know you're getting hooked up pretty much. So, but. Just give it a second, you know, kind of like a frog. Don't just, the second you feel a twitch, don't just set the hook because you might not hook that fish. If you're worried about hookup ratios, because it is a long tail, I'm not going to lie, it's a long tail. You can also, when it's rigged up like this, you can put a small treble hook, like a, you know, it depends on, I'm not I'm not exactly sure what size fits with it. I haven't tried this yet in the water, but I've, I've rigged a treble hook on it and you can, on similar baits and you can tell that it would work and uh, just rig a small treble hook and it'll go right there that'll increase your hookup ratio but I wouldn't suggest that if you're trying to fish bottom but if you're twitching over grass beds and stuff treble hook right there if you're worried about the ratio if you got if you know if you're mainly fishing for smaller fish so there's the new swamp serpent uh, very innovative lizard you know I haven't seen much like it sold mainly you know you mainly see zoom lizard knockoffs I didn't want to do that I don't like knocking off baits I want something new and original and and this is pretty new and original to me. I haven't seen a lizard like this, and I really hope it gets bit. And I know it gets bit. So, awesome bait. Please check it out at bigboybaitco.com. And uh, they're available right now for order and everything. So go check it out, guys. I can also do dual colors. I can pour the belly or pour the back, make the tail a different color, make the head a different color. Just let me know. I'm pretty much open to almost all options. You know, six color pours is something I probably can't do with this, but I can do a lot of things. So just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. On to the next bait. Alright guys, on to another one of, 
awesome bait I'm really pumped up about is the new Venom Viper. Um, I'm loving this thing. You know, the Wiggle Snake was a huge hit. Everyone loved it. Just like the Swamp Snake. Everyone loves... I mean, who wouldn't love seeing a bass chomp at a snake, you know? It's something... It's one of those innate things that everyone wants to see. Everyone... You know, they it, they know it happens, but you don't see it much. Well, now's your chance to really kind of see that predatorial instinct in action by using a snake bait. This is a 6-inch bait, It's so it's easily rigged on a lot of stuff. I can rig it on a 3 aught up to a 7 aught. I mean, but my favorite hook is a 3 to 5 aught. I'm going to use the 5 aught just as I did in the, uh, in the Swamp Serpent. But as you can see, it has another, just like the Swamp Serpent, it's permanently molded into a uh, into a form as you can see let me if I can give me a second I'll break out the mold to show you guys um, give me a second there's the mold for it as you can see that's how it's formed in the mold so that's how it's always going to go back to uh, as so so it's kind of cool it's not just a straight worm it's because you know you could imitate a snake just by using a worm on top of the water but this is a little bit something different it has that big head you know so they see that profile going on top they see the rattler if it's clear water they'll they'll see all of that even if it's not clear water they'll see that profile on top of the water and they'll just come up and crush it i've had a bunch of you know heart pounding strikes fishing in in some mossy waters and everything but a lot of them a lot of them uh, a lot of them were smaller fish so i did not I did not film them just because I wasn't in a, a big area for, for some big fish. So I could put eyes on it. Everyone likes eyes on snakes. So I can do that uh, easily for you if you want. I could, But I can also leave it without eyes just like that. Either way. Here's a dual color pour. I poured a kind of a smoky kind of copper pearl bottom. And then a green pump or a, a brown pumpkin top. And there's the rowel. There's a close up on it. You know, so it's got six little sections and uh, ridges all the way down. So it's got a little bit of texture, but mainly it's a smooth body, so it's not going to get hung up in trees or any of that. It doesn't have any appendages. It really slips through cover very well. I'll show you how I like to rig it. It's kind of different. You don't just rig it like a uh, like a normal worm. Make sure you rig it straight on the head. Take it in a little bit and then just pop it right on out of there. Run it all the way up. I always, guys, a lot of people leave their eye exposed. I always pop it through past the eye. But that's just personal preference. Now, you're going to have to watch this a little bit. It's not just like rigging a finesse worm, like I said. It's got that It's got that bend, so it, you, you want to follow that bend as much as you can. You don't want to rig it dead in the middle of the bait, because then it'll just straighten out that whole bend, and you just have a small bend at the end. You want to rig it so that the bend stays in the bait. So as you can see... I want to rig it right on the side. So I'll take it and just right there. Not dead center. It's going to look bad, but you know, everyone's always taught to rig dead center, but not on this bait because you want it to have, still have that, that curl. So it still has that. As you can see, it's not dead center. You don't really want it dead center because then it will take the bend out of the snake. Also, what I like to do, if you, it doesn't float uh, plastic. Yeah, you know, it's you, there's ways to make it happen. You can use floating foam. This stuff right here is from Candy Creek. Uh, it's a high density floating foam. You can use that, but it still doesn't float a hook. You can use. I got these micro balloons right here. They're very unsafe. So and they make the plastic horribly uh, soft and undurable. So there's not really an easy solution for making a making a bait float a hook right now. I wish there was. I'd be all over that. I'm the first one. I'm going to be the first one to investigate if there is something new that comes along. So, but one thing you can do to combat that is kind of give it a bend. If you, when you're skin hooking it, as you always should with baits that are going to be going through thick cover. I do it on all my baits, but kind of push back a little bit farther, and that'll leave that bend in. As you can see, it looks it looks kind of strange, but what it does is it gives it kind of a V. And when you're pulling it through the water, it will push the head up of the snake. So you can work it a lot easier and a lot slower on top of the water. It's not going to catch water and dive down. Because if you have it rigged flat, and say when you're casting, it gets kind of that kind of bend on it. When you pull your line, it's going to want to dive down. So I like to have that small bend and keep it on top, if you want to keep it on top. Keep in mind that snakes aren't always on top, guys. Snakes go under the water all the time. 
I've watched snakes a lot. Um, a lot of the small swampy little lakes that I fish around here have snakes and you can see them. They'll be on top of the water. They'll dive down. You know, they'll eat little fish and stuff. So if you throw it on a weighted hook, you could, you're still going to get bit, you know. But if you want to keep it on top like most people do, go with the bend. Trust me. It, it's going to look a little bit weird, but trust me. Go with the bend. You can do it on flukes too. Keep it on top of the water very easily. So that is the new Venom Viper. Uh, six inches, as I said. Comes in a six pack awesome bait you know everyone's gonna love it i can already tell people love the wiggle snake people love the swamp snake and i really hope people um, are really going to enjoy this bait and catch a ton of toads on it so thanks for watching this video guys every bait in here is hand poured hand injected by me i don't have anyone working for me nothing's outsourced every sing every single bait com that comes out of my shop is hand poured every color is mixed by me every order is processed by me i ship everything it's really just a one-man job so you know you're getting quality, guys. Again, any questions, just email me, fishingallday31 at gmail.com. I, I can match almost any color, you know, any bait. On any bait, I can do any colors. I can do dual colors. A lot of people have been asking about the wiggle snakes. A lot of people, I've gotten a ton of orders for a chartreuse tail and black body, which is a killer color for a snake. So I can do that on this. I can do the dual color, as you can see right here. You know, the options are endless. I could put eyes on them on all of my baits you know there's so many options that's the cool thing about being a custom company so thanks for watching this video I know it was long but I really wanted to get some fresh baits out to you guys some innovative stuff not the same old same old four inch swim bait something like that you know I wanted to do something different and not release something that you can go buy at Bass Pro or Tackle Warehouse so thanks for watching this video guys I appreciate all the support you guys have gotten me uh, about 150 times farther than I ever thought I would get with this company and I don't plan on stopping. So thank you for that again. And thanks for watching the video, guys.